Hello friends and welcome back to another one on one video on guiding tech and in the ring today we have the Nexus 6P and the Love Max from the Love Eco. We would be running benchmarks, apps and games to look at the speed and performance of both the devices and how they perform against one another. Finally, we'll also have a look at the memory management of both these devices. So let's get started and check it out. So on my left I have the Love Max and on my right I have the Nexus 6P and as you can see there are no background apps running on both the devices. Now just to make uh, everything clear I am running the Nova launcher on both these devices and they have exactly the same number of apps installed on them and also as you can see I have made sure that both of them are in flight mode and uh, they are just connected to the same Wi-Fi network so just let me go ahead and, in, and run the Android benchmarks. So as the test begins, uh, the, the most exciting part that I love to watch is how the 3D video renders on both the devices while the Antidu is running. Now right here I can see that on the Love Max and on the Nexus 6P there are no lags whatsoever and both the devices are actually able to run the video test without any lags or frame skips. So with that, uh, let me take you through the specifications of both the devices really quick. The Love Max which is on my left hand side is powered by Snapdragon 810 64-bit octa-core processor which is clocked at 2 GHz with an Adreno 430 GPU and it has a 4 GB of RAM and a 2K display with a 464 PPI. Now there are two variants and uh, they come with 64 and 128 GB of internal storage and the rear camera is 21 megapixel while the front facing shooter is at 4 ultra pixels and to power that all up you get a battery of 3400 mAh. The specs of the Nexus 6P are pretty similar from the Love Max and you get a Snapdragon 810 64-bit processor with 4 cores at 2 GHz and another 4 cores at 1.55 GHz. You also get an Adreno 430 GPU with a 2K display at 518 PPI. You also get a 3 GB of RAM and there are two variants which come in 32 and 64 GB of internal storage. The rear camera is 12.3 megapixel while the front facing shooter is 8 megapixel and all that is powered by a battery of 3450 mAh. So the NT2 scores are in front of us and as you can see for yourself that the Love Max scores 76,522 which is six, uh, like, like 10,000 more than the Nexus 6P that is at 66,336. So uh, that was all from the NT2 side. Let me just go ahead and launch the Geekbench 3 for our next review but uh, I'll just kill uh, the NT2 that has been running in the background for a fair review. So going ahead and launching the Geekbench 3. And uh, while we are testing the, uh, both the devices with the Geekbench 3, uh, I would just like to let you know that we have done a full gaming review on the Love Max, uh, which you can check out. I'll provide you the links on the top right hand side as a card and you can also look uh, for links in the description of this particular video. So moving to the final score and here as well the Love Max uh, is on a higher note with 1323 and 4451 uh, scores with a single core of 812 and 3423 on the Nexus 6P. So that was all from the benchmark uh, site. Let me now just go ahead and launch the apps on both the devices to see which one launches each of the app faster. So like all the times we'll start with Survey Surfer and wait for either of these devices to load the game faster than the other. And the loading started on the Love Max before then the 6P but it's already finished on the 6P. So I guess the 6P would be the first to load the game. And here we go. Uh, it loads the game seconds before the Love Max. Now moving on to our second app. Okay, let's just minimize it. Okay, moving on to the second app and Twitter loads faster on the Love Max. So uh, that's great. Uh, moving on to Facebook. And it's load faster on both the devices. I, I guess it was same on both the devices. And uh, moving on to YouTube, okay, and it loads faster on the Love Max, and uh, just a few seconds uh, later, the 6P was able to load it. Now launching the Asphalt Nitro, so the loading starts faster on the 
low max and we saw the same thing while okay the game load faster on the 6p so indeed uh, the the games are in favor of nexus 6p and apps uh, for the low max and uh, just launching the app store and this time the 6p was faster than the max launching the camera and here i am <laughs> and uh, okay this loads faster on the low max so moving on to the next app and that is the message and this loads faster on the 6p so uh, the trend that we are seeing is the apps are faster on the low max and the games are faster on the 6p and they have i mean they're just very close and i can't tell you which one of them is better or, or i mean which one is better in terms of launching app and all so the website also launch uh, like launch faster on the love max and it's still loading on the nexx 6p and both of them are connected to the same wi-fi network that is the 100 mbps act broadband connection here in my office and both of them are in flight mode now launching the verge home page on both the devices so uh, tapping it at the exact same time and uh, it loads faster on the love max than the nexus 6p and all the elements are also loading faster so let me just tap on one more page to check this out and as you can see for yourself the page are loading faster on the love max and all so now uh, moving on to the memory management part so where i launch the service surfer on both the devices to check if it's still in the memory so going ahead with that and uh, to my surprise uh, i mean i thought the nexus 6p would also have it in the memory but only the the love max has the game in the memory so now moving on to the second game that we launched <clears throat> excuse me so moving ahead to the second game that we launched and that is the asphalt nitro and uh, uh, just give me a moment please okay so okay both of them had the game in the memory so this was the one on one of the nexus 6p alongside the love max and uh, do let me know your views in the comment section as to what you feel about both the devices i'll be comparing the love max with the one plus two shortly so stay tuned and don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't already this was ashish from guiding tech and i hope to see you in my next upcoming videos till then take care and have a wonderful day